Hi, this is Andy from HowEFIWorks.com and today I want to talk about setting the base timing on almost any standalone ECU before you ever attempt to start the motor. For this demonstration, we're going to make the basic assumptions that you have an MS3, MS3 Pro, or MS3 Ultimate, that you have coil unplug or possibly wasted spark coil unplug and you're getting no lost sink airs when you're cranking the motor. The first thing you want to do is verify that the fuel is turned off. Our goal here is not to break a starter and not damage the motor. The easiest way to do this is have your injectors unplugged. There are other methods such as making sure that there's zero pressure in the fuel rail and your fuel pumps turned off. If your injectors are easy to reach, I simply just unplug them. This is the looking down at the harmonic balancer on a typical motor. This happens to be a Honda motor, so it is a counter rotation motor or rotates to the left as shown by the pink arrow. Most motors do rotate the other direction, but you will see in the left side is a 15 mark. What that is, is the first mark that comes into the timing marks is typically a 10 or 15 degree before top dead center right here the next one in is typically the zero mark or top dead center most commonly on the front of the motor there is some sort of pointer that aligns up with the top dead center mark when everything is aligned notice that i happen to have a white mark here and a yellow mark what the white mark is is the factory timing mark when I actually dialed in my motor, I found out that my harmonic balancer was about a degree wrong. The easiest way to check this is if you look under in Amazon, look up top dead center tool or TDC tool. There's all sorts of them that pop up from about 10 to $20. What these things do is you bring your motor up to a little before top dead center and typically you hit a bump stop. You mark your harmonic balancer rotate the motor by hand around to the other end you will hit that same bump stop split the difference and that is your exact top dead center there are other ways to do it with uh with dial indicators and all sorts of other things but that's probably the cheapest and most accurate that most of us have available to us some motors do not come with any timing marks you will need to put an accurate one on by doing some sort of testing the other thing is if your motor does not have a known advanced mark at say 15 or 20 degrees it's best to add one to your motor you'll find out later that that's the easiest way to get the base timing set and we'll go into that later in this once we have our motor set at top dead center, what I want to do is set somewhere as viewed from the front of the motor. What we're looking at is the crankshaft. In this example, our motor will be rotating in a counterclockwise rotation. But what I want to do is find a spot on the front of the motor where you can arbitrarily make our mark a top dead center mark that stays with the motor and then another mark on the harmonic balancer that lines up when we were at top dead center on the previous screen. It really doesn't matter where this mark is as long as it is correct and verified. This happens to be my motor. I have, you can see my mark, which is done with reflective tape. I found at uh, the local Walmart actually. What it is is reflective tape like you use on a uh, trailer. I just make a small piece, put it on the harmonic balancer, makes it very easy to find. And then once I had the marks set back in behind the sheet metal, where well, you can't see it at this point, I just marked a top dead center on the chassis. This can be done with coat hanger, sheet metal, any way you can come up with to make a mark, but you will need one that you can see virtually all 360 degrees around the harmonic balancer. The next thing I want to do is open up the tuning software and go to ignition settings and the first tab down is ignition options and wheel decoder. We're making the assumption that all these settings are set up right which is related to the lost sink air issue I was talking about earlier. But once you have all these settings correct for the setup that's on your motor I then want to go to wasted coil on plug even if you do have individual coils. I want to come down to the tooth number one angle in the green 
circle and set that to zero. And I want to do the cranking advance set to zero. Now let's go ahead and go to the motor and see what this looks like as I go from a zero tooth angle. Then I'll go up to say 45 degrees and work my way up. What we will end up doing is cranking the motor with our timing offset set at zero and finding the red pointer. Then progressively working our way up through 45 degrees, 90, 180, and 270 degrees if we need to go that high to see where our timing marks are coming up on our motor. I do have all four injectors disconnected so there is no fuel going to the motor. So let's go ahead and try zero degrees, burn, reset ECU, crank the motor about five spins. Next I'm going to try 45 degrees. This will give me an idea of what direction we're heading. Burn, reset ECU. The next test I would do is 90 and 180. With those numbers, I should be able to get a guess as to pretty close to where we need to be. So now, as you saw in the previous video, my timing mark, when I was set to zero degrees for the test, showed up over to the right. The easiest thing to do is literally take a piece of paper, draw what you're looking at on the front of the crankshaft, mark your arbitrary top dead center mark, that can be magic marker, pointer, whatever it is on the motor, as long as it doesn't move during this test. And literally just write on a piece of paper that you saw that mark show up wherever it did show up, and mark on the paper a zero. On the next test, I can go to say 90 degrees in the tooth setting and recrank. And let's say that the red mark showed up up here. Notice it showed up 90 degrees different. So mark on the piece of paper a 90 and change to 135 for example. Crank it and the red mark showed up over here to the left in this test. So again we'll mark on a piece of paper. That's where the 135 test wound up. And just for fun we'll do one more test at 180 degrees and mark again on the piece of paper where it showed up. Notice that from 0 to 180, it's exactly on the other side of the harmonic balancer. If you still haven't passed your TDC mark, you will need to go to 270 degrees and up to an absolute maximum of 360 degrees. But you'll never get over 360 degrees. In my case, I went past at about 120 degrees. So what I'll do is one more test. On the last test, I'm going to set the tooth angle to 120 is just a guess and recrank and see if my red mark shows up at my top dead center marker. If it does, you know you there. Yeah. This setting will work if you actually do have wasted coil on plug, but if you are going to be running fully sequential coil on plugs, you may be exactly 360 degrees wrong on the setting. It's very simple. When you go to start the motor, if it runs on wasted coil on plug, but as soon as you change to full sequential, the motor dies. All you have to do is add 360 degrees because you are one full rotation of the crankshaft wrong on your timing. It's no big deal. Just add 360 degrees. Once you've got all this set, then I want to go ahead and try coil on plug if that's what you actually have. Retest. If everything looks good and the motor starts, you should be fine. The next thing we need to do is check the timing live on the motor running. The way you do this is set on the top right corner to fixed timing and set the fixed timing right here in the green box, set it to 15 degrees. That matches our timing mark that we had in the previous screenshot. And what you'll do is start the motor. It should idle fairly steady at about 15 or 20 degrees or whatever you have that mark on your motor. And there you can check and verify that the timing and home in this 120 or whatever it was. In my case, I end up at 472. But you'll play around with this a half a degree or so at a time until your timing marks come up perfect. I want to thank my friends at TunerStudio.com, the guys that develop Mega Log Viewer HD and Tuner Studio. And be sure to hit the subscribe button in my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.